guys, so welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, Evening News. My name is Nachuks, and you're on GFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we really see our program, the first ever time, we want to bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as we drop all over the world. So for now, we starts with tonight's Evening News. So, first of all, Gary Lidica will be one of the match of the day hosts. Get yes, so that they do the show. So, ahead for the match, we asked to play against Brighton. So, in with he arrives there for studio. So, Gary Lidica is one of the strong advocates for Arsenal to actually win the league. So, you can tell he arrives. See, it's written in the stars for Arsenal to win the EPL season, uh, EPL title this season like the 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 nature <laughs> because this i never talk saying our god because everybody they worship god so nature any superior force so you know say all road leads to an arsenal title winning season all the indices all the indicators everything is showing from what we are seeing that arsenal are going to do it this season in fact, I think it was the Metro. Now I actually write a story about this report. So Metro now said Garanenka says it's written in the stars for us not to win the Premier League title this season. Now, when you read the entirety of the report, you will see say this guy just get confidence. See, the way we ask now, they dispatch their opponents this season. Not just this season, this calendar year of 2024. It is it is out of this world. Like they do it with so much ease. Like they, they know the trail, they know they suffer. Once they score you first, it's, 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 that's, it's finished. You get so now was about the talk. Now, me, I read the report with a smile on my face and I subscribe to the line of thoughts 100 percent because from what we are seeing, remember some days ago, David Einstein actually came out and said, Arsenal are not really worried about the big games they have, like the likes of Tottenham Hotspur, uh, Old Trafford, who played the Manchester United, uh, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. All those people, they know they really reason up. People that are listening, all those kind of bright in at the Amex Stadium, all those kind of small, small, like Aston Villa now will go host on the ninth. So they're after uh, this and uh, Bayern Munich on the ninth, Aston Villa will go host next. Those are the type of games we say we they really pay huge attention to us. The big ones who you expect us to actually drop points, like we are not scared of all those ones. So are actually they overjoyed with what's going to happen, and that's what they give you joy. And what's happen? This thing is so I don't know how many of them are aware, how many of them are watch the match between Manchester United and Liverpool. Although I believe say uh, my you for my hand somehow, but mostly managed to draw. Now, when you watch the match, because Liverpool open scoring early, Liverpool collects and um, go first from Luzia 1 0. Um, I can do somehow reluctance to watch the match because to my mind, I say, Ah, um, this man you won't spoil our dream because I know every Arsenal fan today they support. Manchester United. Well, as God may have it, or as nature may have it, or as whatever force may have it, because I don't know whether I'm a person that God do. So Kwanza made a mistake, and Bruno Fernandes capitalized on that mistake and wipe him. And Keller had already come outside. So as Baba wipe him, he enter one one. Before I go know what's that happened, Kobe Mino, oh no, that small boy. I think that boy like maybe like 18 years ago. But that boy, see that goal, see that last angle. Oh no, we said probably Manchester United for like that jump up, shout go. So I think now they play today. I said, well, we don't play. I didn't support my you. So I was overjoyed. 2 1 came they go 80 minutes. Like, you know, they finish now. So I don't know what you can do. One Bissaka. We go bring down the Liverpool player. Although, after the game, I can't watch the replay. He let no really touch that guy. Maybe because the guy don't for I'm like, I don't know. Because he let no really like you know really hit and save the guy for, but I would have wanted them to play that two one because as I said, they watched the game and he checked him. But they see the, the consequences as the action they go on changes the upper table. So when we were beating them 2 1, we are now ahead of Liverpool and Manchester United and Manchester City with some points. Yeah, so that one can't make me the very happy to take one point, gap them. But as the call equalized 2 2, then they come and say we are Liverpool and I call it the same point. Now you see the importance of goal difference. You get you see the importance. We are ahead of Liverpool with nine goals. So that's why we are ahead now. So as B now, you know, say so before when Liverpool they ahead, everybody saying Liverpool have their destiny and their future in their hands. So I will look whether by tomorrow, make us whether all these pundits are going to use the same term for Arsenal by saying 
has now have their future in their hands because as it stands now, we actually have our future in our hands. If we win all the rest of our eight games or thereabouts, we don't win the, the league title now. Let's go beat everybody. We don't win them now. That was the same thing they were saying about Liverpool. So now the race continues. The difference between first and second, two people did second, different between two, all of us. And just one point. You get. So two people did first, one person did second. So next match. Uh, Liverpool will play Crystal Palace, we will go play Sun Villa, and uh, Liverpool uh, must City will play Luton Town. So all things being equal, everybody is expected to win. In fact, now we even get the higher, higher stat on paper. So we'll play Aston Villa. Aston Villa that will be without uh, a Douglas Luiz, who is one of the milk feed enforcer. So I just this seem like I don't know my ginger like energy, energy poor, I don't stay happy. Even because of this uh, Liverpool match. When we played against Man City, when we drew, the narrative in the media. Was that uh, Man City and Arsenal play, but now Liverpool win? So I think it's safe to say Liverpool and Manchester United play, now Arsenal and Man City win. <laughs> I think it's safe to still use that logic back at them. So, my dear Arsenal, I know some of Nadi very, very happy with what happened to be. So, let's just proceed on other news stories that we have. All right, so after the match, we'll play against Brighton at the Amex Stadium. Something happened that I didn't really notice. I don't know how many of you are notice that so now when i do research i can actually find out that story now after the match so brighton coach actually sends his assistant coach whether they call makatilo makatili makatilo makatili or what i mean god you know the bar for my head so he sent the man may go meet kai havertz may actually collect kai havertz shirts because and uh, the roberto deserve was impressed with what Kaharas did in the match, both offensively, both defensively, he didn't put his foot wrong. So he didn't do well. Now, this story was put out by now Arsenal. Nobody now asked now because as they come to another source, who actually give us a report. So the headline of the new story is that Brighton coach asked Arsenal star for his shirts after the 3 0 defeat. Now, when you read the entirety of the report, this is a part of the report, so I screenshot. So look at that person I put red line and say, however. It was, it was a peculiar moment after the match that caught the attention of spectators as Havertz left the pitch. A member of the Brighton coaching staff appeared to request his shirt as a gesture that sparked both surprise and criticism. Now, talking about criticism, so Tim Sherwood will be one of those with really on duty for punditry duty. But they talk about what happened, you get. So the Daily Mail Online actually put up the story. So Tim Sherwood takes issue. With Kai Havertz giving his shirt because Kai Havertz actually gave Makatili the shirt to go and give the Zerbi. Say so it took issue with Kai Havertz giving the shirt to a member of Brighton's coaching staff after the Gunners 3 0 win over the Seagulls. Now, nobody really the Daily Mail, let me put up that story. Even the Mirror, you will see the title of the story. You will see uh, ex boss boss Tim Sherwood rips into Kai Havertz for Brighton gesture after the final. Now, what's the team? Sherwood, they talk say, why? Um, Harvard will give Brighton manager a shirt. The question I get for Tim Sherwood, why are you not going to give him a shirt? Like, why are they always bring up issues for me? You should know they like this. Is, this is a non issue. Person appreciate, okay, this is not a player. I said, give me your shirt. You can't give up. So, like, come on. I don't, I don't see any issue for this thing. I don't know whether I'm going to get any issue here. Nobody said we lose. If say we lose now, nah, hey, you understand? Say, okay, why are they giving a shirt? Supposed to focus, so when I lose, it's supposed to be sober. We won. Handsomely, Baba was arguably, arguably one of the best players on the pitch. One assist, one goal. So I don't see any for me or personally. I don't know when I would be our viewers. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think there is an issue in Kai Havertz giving Makatilo Makatili his shirt to go and give Robert Deserbi? Like, let me know in the comment section. For me personally, I don't have an issue with it. So we'll just move on, on to other stories. Now the the Arsenal insider probably put out a report on Ian Wright and Gary Lineker whether they agree about very impressive thing that Arsenal have now done. Now, what's Gary Lineker and Ian Wright they talk about? Now, say these days, they say Arsenal they extend their clean sheets for the EPL and say the best thing because when I read the reports, I can't see when they talk, say the best thing we Arsenal don't do for this year. This 2024 calendar year is to increase that defensive stability, the solidity of that defense. They don't bless the forge at young. We don't get two rock of Gibraltar waiting for the back in saliva and the and you need to extend that same war. It's like a Chinese war. 
you get at Kivio there, at Bell Lights there, then at Declan Wright and Jojo there, or maybe Thomas Party there. No road, they put Raya. Raya is like the icing on the cake. No road, not that. Nobody does not say, you get, don't come play against us. So this is something everybody is saying. And it still goes back to what Arsenal and the boys did in Dubai. What they did there. Something transformational happened in that place that nobody till today, if he talks, say, see what it's up. Even though I think they tell us, say, nothing happened, so we just go there, go flex. See, nothing really happened, just go there, go train, change some tactics, do one or two things. Till today, I see say, something happened there, we say, for now, nobody really know, we can come out and say, this is what they did. All right, away from that, so he am right, on the other hand, Tony comments and they talk, say, it's very, very impressive for what in Arsenal don't do, especially when you remember what transpired last season because last season after we lost uh, william saliba everything just got like we capitulated like a pack of cards but this time around this season but back on the say defensively arsenal have gone on another level this season Dif not this season like this calendar year 2024 because the zeal the the desire the desire to get a clean sheet the drive what we get for this calendar year of 2024 almost it was missing in 2023 like that's that I don't know which adjective I'm going to qualify what these guys are doing. Like I enjoy what they're right saying because when you look at Arsenal um, 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 the way they celebrate block, block oh, block oh, that they celebrate and like say nah nah go there score. Well it is what it is. All right, before this match we Liverpool and uh, Manchester United play. So Daniel Storage actually came out to make his title prediction as Liverpool battles Arsenal and Man City. He say he don't get any bias for this analysis. Say the analysis is an objective analysis. Now let me tell you what story is saying. So you going to say first of all, everybody get different reason why they won't win this title. Man City want to win it not because they've not won plenty in the past, but because they want to create history. For that reason, they want to get this last one so that they will be the first team in the EPL who will win the EPL title four times in a row, back to back to back to back to back. Now what did them define? Arsenal, on the other hand, want to win it because he don't take away them winner. So they want to be like decided to win this thing after 19, 20 years. Because they are the more the most hungrier or more hungrier team among the lots. We want winner. Liverpool, on the other hand, they want to win this thing because they want to give the uh, your club a farewell gift because it's living. So it's going to be like the best gift you can give it give to him. After I make all in analysis of why everybody needs to win it, he can follow the bandwagon, the bandwagon opinion. Also, Liverpool have their destiny in their hands. All they need to do is just win all the rest of their games and they'll emerge title winners. At the end of the day, he can't say, you know, they buy us too, but say in the following God's, in God's feeling, say that Liverpool will win So, based on what can happen today, let me say Liverpool don't step down from the pecking order yet. So, I would, I would like to see what thing will talk tomorrow because. One thing people are blind towards is the fact that nobody will win all the rest of their games. Not Arsenal, not Man City, not Liverpool. Nobody will win all their games. It's impossible. Can't. I wanted one. You know the kind of games that the first person. Nobody get them easy. Before this match, I said in the game. I don't know whether they refuse it or just go the ultra port. Even said, I can't even hear say, we are going to close. So you don't come for the CPL. He has been finding it difficult to win at the theater of dreams. So they always get them very, very difficult. So how they wish in fact i believe say after the scholar first goal they would be very very optimistic say yes this is going to be the day but they're not gonna say no two halves are equal i'm not gonna lie if you watch that match first half liverpool were very very wasteful you could have scored a lot of goals but they were very very wasteful and i like as and they wasteful because i don't want me to win okay, so it is what it is so let's look at other stories in front of us now edward hagen maybe one of the arsenal supporters on twitter so Babakari does say arsenal defenders must have a clean sheet bonus because what they're doing is insane and um, i understand where it's coming from because the way that they fight to get clean sheets if they concede people like ben white will be vexed do not think ben white was trying to fight uh, the check what's it called fight so we don't get clean sheets why you cost me their scores now you cost them oh, baby, cost them. they call the fight oh, yeah, I think, I think, yes he loves that because it shows they are not satisfied nobody say they lose they say they're concede they are not satisfied. That is the mentality. That is where the the, the that's the headspace of the Arsenal players. That's where it's at now. Nobody wants to concede. Once they beat everybody, they go. 
In fact, and all those mentality shifts, they will rub off on us fans. You know, as we are fans now, if I start drawing, the people I say we lose. I don't, I don't understand that mentality shift. I don't observe it. If we draw, eh, there will be toxicity in the timeline. People will comment negative things. Say, why we draw? Nobody say we lose. Oh. Why we draw? But previously in the past, if we draw, we'll say, I know Martin, I'm going to be very, very happy. Yeah, so, that's yeah, so it. So, me, I'm not going to surprise, say, what's in Eduardo Hagen, the top? That there's an atom of truth in what you say. Say, for indoors, the hierarchy, if you don't tell the player, say, for every clean sheet you get, this is the bonus you get. I will not be surprised. Nobody, Nigerian super egos, they use money incentivizing. Even these Arsenal players, AJ, they pay his money. They say, for every clean sheet, AJ, we'll be saying that 10,000 pounds, we'll give him a bonus. Everybody will fight, say, for yeah, we'll die here for this clean sheet level. Now, moving on to Saka, they talk about what is different about the current Arsenal players opposed to last year, like the difference between Arsenal team of last year and this year. When they say last year, we mean 2023. This same season, you know, but you know, say the way they play for 2023 is far, far, far different from the way they play for 2024. Now, Saka can't explain say this year, when you read these reports, we see Saka say this year, we feel very comfortable. You get the team is better. And we are ready for each game to win it. The way they prepare for each game, we they prepare so we won't go winner. That would be the major difference between this 2024 calendar year and 2023 calendar year. Like, obviously, that's what they visible to the blind and audible to the deaf. No need to go to Balao and tell you. Like, they see them, say, for your before. They see them, say, what's in Arsenal players? They do. So, my dear Arsenal lovers, uh, the biggest news of the night, that would be the fact that Gareth Lineker will be one of the football pundits of the match of the day. But by the talk, say it's written in the stars for Arsenal to actually win the EPL title. Now, what's about the talk? Because in with Ian Wright, that is for studio after the match, you have to play against Brighton. So, but back on the talk, say the way we ask now they play, like he no see anybody will go for quality time. And one thing about Garandini can be say he has been saying this thing for a very, very long time. You know, be like all those guys, never be saying today, they go say, Nama, you go winner. Smooth, they'll say, Nama, you go winner. That's more, they'll say, I leave Apple. Today, I was in Arsenal. Garavinica has been saying this thing for far too long. Say, Arsenal, now they will win this title this season. And all indices and indicators, all signs and symbols, everything they point to an Arsenal title winning campaign. Look at all the statistics highest goal scorer in the league, best defense, play sheets. Like, what team? What did they find? What they will get? Balanced team, attack with defense, everywhere solid, everywhere, everything is still. So much that they see at the end of the day, we have our destiny in our hands now. If we win all the rest of our games now, we don't win the league title. That's just the start truth. So at the end of the day, we will just hope, say our dreams, our hopes, our aspirations, everything come to pass. Say after all this struggle. Because it will make sense, say all this struggle, struggle, what we'll do, all this, all the stats will decrease. At the end of the day, we're not going to win the league title. It will go make sense now. So make the universe, they our side. Get more, get luck, because we also need luck. To actually win the league title. So, my dear Arsenal of us, I think it's a fine place for us to call the show an end. So, it's like come your way tomorrow morning to give you the morning news. If you follow us on Twitter, you never follow us. If you watch us on Twitter, you never follow us. Do so kindly. If you're watching us on Facebook, I never really subscribe. Do so kindly. If you're watching on YouTube, same. And do so. I'm not going to forget to like our videos as they watch. Most times we'll get 20,000 views, 10,000 views, but we'll get 500 likes. 400 likes, I beg. When I know the likes, like, like our show. All right, guys. So, so I'll come here with tomorrow. Bye-bye and my dear Mark. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good night.